This feels like a good spot for some Dallas Cowboys news. They haven't given us much to talk about recently, but word comes down Saturday that perennial all pro left tackle Tyron Smith will hit free agency next week and is unlikely to return to Dallas on the surface. Not a terribly interesting story. Tyron Smith is a perennial all pro. He's the best offensive tackle available in this year's free agent class. Of course, he's going to be highly sought after. Of course, it's going to be hard for the Cowboys to keep him. But what makes it interesting is what happened a day before this report. Cowboys owner, general manager, Jerry Jones speaks at the NFL combine every year. And on Friday, he acknowledged the team had a meeting in place with Tyron Smith's representatives and that they would get in a room and come to an agreement on a deal that worked well for both sides. As recently as Friday, it felt, it felt like there was optimism that a deal would be done for Tyron Smith to return to the Cowboys. A day later comes the report that it's unlikely to happen. So if I'm reading between the lines adequately, it sounds like there were some numbers exchanged in that meeting that Tyron Smith's representatives were none too happy with. We'll see where it goes from here. It's, in my opinion, a strange story. It's, it's hard to imagine the Dallas Cowboys without Tyron Smith. He's been manning the left side of that offensive line for more than a decade. Win healthy. Yes, Cowboy fans, I can hear you. That is ultimately the crux of this issue. Tyron Smith, second team all pro in 2023. For my money, still one of the best two or three left tackles in football when he's healthy, but that has not been something the Cowboys could bank on for quite some time. He's missed at least one game every year since 2015. He's missed 40% of his games over the last three seasons, well into his 30s now. I understand if the Cowboys have some concerns about the size of the contract that he would sign. How many games are you going to get him for? How much will he be available? It's all worth considering. At the same time, it's hard not to think about where the Cowboys are as a franchise going into the final year of Mike McCarthy's contract, potentially going into the final year of Dak Prescott's contract without an extension. This feels like it could be the last hurrah for this iteration of the Dallas Cowboys and ignoring Jerry Jones's infamous comments about going all in, even if he didn't really mean that it's just hard to imagine the Dallas Cowboys are a better team in 2024 without Tyron Smith. Sure. You do have to allow some caution because of the age, because of the injury issues. But when you are pushing to get over a hump that has eluded you for 30 years now or close to it, I think maybe you make the concessions to keep one of your best ever players and a lifelong cowboy on the roster. Tyron Smith drafted in 2011. Like I said, he's been earning all pros at the left tackle spot since 2014, signed an eight-year deal that season that nobody thought he would ever see the end of. Surely, he'll either be cut or he'll demand a pay raise before then. Never happened. Through all the ups, all the downs, played on the same contract, was a relative bargain for the Dallas Cowboys for most of his career, and even took a pay cut last year when the injuries started to pile up. Feels like the end of an era. If I'm waxing poetic about it, I'm sorry. I did happen to cover most of the guy's career. I think it's a very sour note to end on if this is the end for Tyron Smith. On the bright side, I think he will have a robust market, and maybe that is the Cowboys' problem, is not wanting to get into a bidding war for what will be the best tackle on the free agent market. There are going to be plenty of teams with plenty of cap space that could use him. Maybe the New York Jets would like to defend Aaron Rodgers' blindside with an all-pro. Maybe the Kansas City Chiefs would be interested in trying to get Tyron Smith on for a run at a ring. I think there will be a lot of teams interested. Maybe this is the way of the Cow maybe this is the Cowboys' way of getting out in front of it. We'll see. Like I said, a little bit of a bummer, but uh, that's nothing the Cowboys aren't used to.